So today I've assembled, actually between yesterday and today, um, a batch of pepper boards <clears throat> that were ordered. And I will be testing one of them here. And I just thought it would be cool to test one and put a video up. So here you can see the six that I have assembled. I've assembled seven, but there are six. And this will be the one I'm testing. What does this do? So this replaces the salt chip, which is on the Coco 2 and the Coco 3. And for reference, here is the salt chip, the standard 16 dip package. And here is the pepper board. Okay, what does the salt chip do? Salt chip, um, stands for the supply and level translator and it is responsible for supply regulation rs232 interface level translation cassette read operations and driving the cassette relay now the pepper board has been designed to replace all of that functionality and it works so what i'll be testing today is um all of that at once so the first thing it needs to do is actually power the cocoa see it's not plugged in you don't see anything on the screen. Okay, so I will plug it in. The way it goes, it just plugs in to where the salt goes. And this is where the salt goes on this Coco 3. Okay, this is a Coco 3 clone. And that is where it goes. Okay, let's power it on. Okay, we have a green screen. That is a good sign. That means that the power regulation is working. Um, the pepper board bypasses Q1, this transistor, which on the Coco 2 on earlier versions, uh, the vertical can one is a is another package, the big round, you know, coin looking one. Um, so what am I going to do? So I want to test the cassette read operation. So I will load drive wire for the Coco 2 because my drive wire server is set for Coco 2. I don't want to mess with it. So I will load drive wire, I'm sorry, HTV DOS for the Coco 2 via the cassette port. And so that will test the zero crossing detector in the board. So, all right, and I will hit play on VLC where I have it loaded already. Okay, there we go. Detected the header successfully. All right, that was copied over, Let's execute, and we can see HCB DOS 1.5, drive R3 for the Coco 2 is running. And so I am connected, okay, uh, the serial port is connected to a USB to serial converter, and drive wire is configured to see that USB to serial converter. Um, that is mounted by the operating system as a serial port. And so DIR should show me the content contents of drive zero and it does i have donut dilemma loaded in drive zero and so what we just did was test the serial port uh portion of the um of the pepper board uh, this part uh, does the rs232 level translation all right i want to load frogger and frogger is in drive one should be at least All right, there is Frogger, so I will load it. All right, okay, let's execute it. There we have Frogger, uh, Frogger loaded. So that was a successful test. And now I don't know if you heard the relay clicking in there, but it does click. And, you know, let's do that. Hold on. Let's just do a separate test of the relay. Turn this off. And a motor on command should be enough. Heard that click? Let's turn it off. 
there you go. Um, this is a good test of the pepper board. You saw all of the functionality of the salt chip uh, being tested with the pepper board.